Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about renal plasma clearance. So that's the actual removal and excretion of plasma constituents into the urine. So just to begin the video what we need to understand is a major function of the kidneys is actually to eliminate excess ions and waste products from blood. So we can move on from here and look at renal clearance itself. So it's the ability of the kidneys to actually remove molecules from blood plasma and excrete them into the urine. So the molecules and ions dissolved in plasma can be filtered firstly through the glomerular capillaries and then they're going to enter the glomerular capsules and those uh, molecules which aren't reabsorbed are basically going to be eliminated in the urine. So you can say that they are cleared from the blood because they're going to pass through the nephron tubule to the collecting duct which is going to drain into the renal calluses and then whatever is inside um, the fluid at that time will get passed out as urine. So secretion is actually the opposite of reabsorption. So if the body does require molecules or ions, then the body can reabsorb them at that stage. But secretion is where if there are an excess amount, they can just be um, uh, passed into the nephron tubule to be eliminated. So it's the opposite of reabsorption. Secreted ions and molecules move out of the peritubular capillaries and these are the capillaries which wrap around the nephron tubule and then they'll move out from the peritubular capillaries into the interstitial fluid, so the surrounding fluid, and then they're going to be transported from the interstitial fluid across the basolateral membrane of the tubular epithelial cells and into the lumen of the nephron. Now reabsorption basically means that, re, uh, sorry, reabsorption will decrease renal clearance and secretion will actually increase renal clearance because if we look at the definition again of renal clearance, it's the removal and excretion of plasma constituents. So if we are reabsorbing a lot of these molecules and ions, then obviously renal clearance will be lower because we're not really removing any of the plasma constituents, we're just reabsorbing them back in. Secretion, on the other hand, will increase renal clearance because we're actually eliminating these plasma constituents or molecules and ions. So we can look at the following equation. Rate of excretion can basically be summarized as the filter filtration rate plus the secretion rate and minus the reabsorption rate. And that will give you the rate of excretion of um, uh, the plasma constituents. So. If a substance in the plasma is filtered and it enters the glomerular capsule, but it's neither reabsorbed nor secreted, it's actually its excretion rate must equal its filtration rate. And we're going to talk about this in the next video in a lot more detail with a um, compound called inulin. So I'll include a link to that in the description below. So if a substance which is passing through the uh, glomerular capsule into the nephron and it's not reabsorbed or secreted, um, the excretion rate is basically the same as the filtration rate. So this fact is used to measure the volume of blood plasma filtered per minute by the kidneys and that's the glomerular filtration rate. Alright, that's everything I'm going to discuss in today's video. Thank you very much for watching.